Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I again work on something summer related barbecue outside sitting in that uh, direction and I just gonna experiment a bit what works on um, objects like this. Of course this is just for experimenting but I could imagine like uh, glasses or vase or some things where you really put uh, food that it looks pretty or even something that has a candle inside so I want to try some some different things on that okay so one thing I can really imagine is uh, balloon flowers or patterns that are created with a balloon yeah, balloon uh, flower balloon kiss however you want to call it so applying it really here then I want to try to do a flower dip, but of course I cannot just dip it in like that, so I might I will need to roll it so it will not look like a flower, but I think the pattern could look really cool actually. And I perhaps also gonna try like a Dutch pour on the bottom. And actually it's all gonna I'm, I'm a little bit uh, it needs to be straight because a Dutch pour has a white cover and then you blow it out but it's probably gonna run down so yeah I hope uh, something turns out nice and whatever I try tag along and just have fun okay so the first thing that I'm gonna try is a balloon kiss I think because that should be uh, should be rather easy Okay, so this is not as easy as I would expect. It's kind of, it's it's round, but it's this and this together doesn't give you any hold. It's it's just um, very slippery to put it on there. <laughs> and it's not round. <laughs> Okay, so here now it's already a little a little thinner. It looks way better on the paper. So the th problem is the paint is on the balloon but it doesn't find enough uh, enough whatever to stick properly in a thick layer to the glass so even if I'm very careful I get a big transparent smush and here it's really a very nice contrast uh, with all the colors in there well, here it's just a bit smushy. Perhaps it would work if you have just one or two or three colors. But I, I was thinking, expecting that this works really well. But it looks very muddy. Okay, so that one, yum, 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 not really. What you can, of course, do, I would think, is um, if you do this on something peel... Uh, peel off uh, like plastic you could now have this dry it's a bit difficult to see but it's really pretty and then as a skin put it on on the glass I think that would look probably very nice too okay let's try a dip 
With a tip I would roll like that, so perhaps the flower part should be up here, but it's definitely then gonna go wide, obviously. So then it would like start here and end here, depending on how far you roll it. It's difficult to pretend actually um, how it's gonna look. So I'm not sure I can do flowers, but let's see. Let's see how it turns out. Okay, also here I'm not really sure how much you would need, but now if I roll it like this, you should get, yeah, it's going to be very wide, and again it's going to be the question, how can it stick on the glass? Um, or if I roll it like this, now I'm going to roll it like this. Okay, that looks weird. <laughs> Doesn't look anything like a flower, but uh, I can imagine that it's gonna look pretty cool, actually. But now I can, of course, not roll it again. What you see now is um, a very nice and soft pattern, and you see cells coming out. There's no silicon, that's because of different density and... Um, yeah, it's it's lacing also. So this looks cool just to get it in a pattern that is also very nice. Yeah, it cannot just be on the top here. That looks stupid. Um, how would I now do that? <laughs> Yeah, I cannot roll it properly. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so what I have now is a little stream of paint. So if I roll, I could roll it really far now. And perhaps it looks nice to have it at the bottom. It's still not to the end, but in general, in general, that makes very cool pattern. So if I would have this at the bottom of the glass, it could be like a drinking glass, but then you would need to varnish it with something, and uh, you can of course not put it in the dishwasher, but. Yeah, I can see something in this, specifically with the little cute cells. Okay, now with a Dutch pour, uh, I have an instruction video to a real Dutch pour on my side, really step by step. Let me show you the, the painting of that. So that was the painting, really cool. Or it's a lid of a box, how can I? Yeah. Uh, but so the Dutch pour is basically a hair blower dry. Of course, I don't want to put a hair dryer on top of this. It has a white base and an off center puddle pour, uh, putting a blanket of white over it and blowing it out in the other direction, just as a short summary. So I have this now. I'm going to put. Um, Gonna put a tiny puddle pour off center. <laughs> the 
it's a little too off center because I still need to be able to put white at uh, the side. Dutch pour uh, less is more, always. Yeah, now running down. So here I have a little pillow of white that goes over here and then back in the other direction. Gonna try it with a straw. So it's covered, more or less. It should be, uh, it normally, on the painting, it would be more on this corner now. So really here, and then you blow it back, but yeah, it's an experiment. So you get this pastel look, uh, not that easy. <laughs> I couldn't pro, I didn't, I, thought, I think it needs a bit of testing how to blow it out because like this now it's a little messed up. The, the colors are the same like in the other painting. And of course on the back you don't see a lot. So that would probably be something more for something where you have a lid. Or again, you'd use it as a at the skin and put it under it that you can see through it. But I think in general it could work. The straw makes it very uneven. So, um, yeah, I think it's a bit too something to experiment and I think eventually for most of them a skin would be better, but it's fun to try and the dip I really liked, but it's going to run down, that's why you need to have it at the bottom. So, yeah, for your summer I hope you can make something nice that you can have outside for guests or something like that. I have a video with a serving tray that's really turned out cool and things like that you can of course always pour okay thanks for watching come back have a nice day and hope to see you back soon